If you are visiting our channel for the first time, please subscribe first to get the latest updates. We are dis going to discuss the five basic rules of derivative or, or differentiation that you need while finding the derivative of different kinds of functions. So first of all, we have a chain rule. This rule is used basically for composite functions. So this, the formula of this rule is dy by dx is equals to dy by du dot du by dx. So this is the formula. Basically this is used for the composite functions. Now what kind of composite functions? Let's see. Keep this in mind. About, this is used for composite functions. So the example is f of x is equals to sine of 3x. Now this is a composite function. How? One function is sine and the other is 3x. So chain rule is basically used for such functions that have two functions but in the form of composite. Composite functions like f of g of x or g of f of x. But here we are not going to solve the examples. In the next lectures we will see how to solve such, uh, how to use such rules for solving the functions or for finding the, de uh, the derivative. Currently, you just know the difference between these rules. So, chain rule is for the composite functions where you have the function in the form of composite. Now, we move towards the product rule. Now, the product rule is basically for two functions that are multiplying with each other. Like if you are having the function f and g and their, their, their derivative will be found as f of g dash plus f dash of g. Now what does it mean? It means first function will be as it is and the and you have to take the derivative of the second then plus sign then derivative of first function and the second function will be as it is. This is the product rule and this rule is basically for functions that are multiplying with each other. Now keep this in mind that there is a difference between the product rule and chain rule. Don't uh, confuse them together as the chain is rule for composite functions and the product rule is for the functions that are multiplying with each other. For example, f of x is equals to sine f cos x. Now this is the function that is having the two functions multiplying with each other. One is sine x and the other is cos x. So they are multiplying with each other. They are not the composite functions. So this is how they different, differ from each other. Next we have the sum or difference of functions. That is d by dx of. You can use f dash of x or d by d of x. It doesn't matter. As we have already discussed. Of f of x plus minus g of x will be equals to what? be equals to f dash of x plus minus g dash of x. It means that it is equal to the derivative of the individual functions. So in addition or subtraction of two functions, you have to take the derivative individually of the two functions or you can say the derivative of the two functions separately. So, so the example is f of x is equals to 3x plus 2x square. This is the example of um, the function of the function where two functions are adding with each other, and another example is where two functions are subtracting from each other. So it means you have to take the derivative of the individual functions and add or subtract them together. So this is the sum or difference of function rule. Now another is the quotient rule. In quotient rule. So in quotient rule, you came across the functions that are dividing with each other. Two functions are dividing with, with each other like d by dx of f of x divided by g of x. Now how you will solve such functions? So its formula is basically, uh, it will take much space so I will write here. That is, keep in your mind the formula as f of f dash of x g of x minus f of x g dash of x divided by 
g of x whole square so this is the formula of the quotient rule that you have to use when two functions are dividing with each other so the example is i'll write the example here as when two functions are dividing with each other that is y equals to sin of x divided by cos of x so the functions like this where both the functions are dividing with each other then you have to use the quotient rule in order to find their derivative now we came towards the reciprocal rule now what is the reciprocal rule in reciprocal rule you came across the functions like you have to find the derivative like 1 divided by f of x in the function in the reciprocal form so you can find its derivative as minus f dash of divided by f square now what does it mean it means if you are, if you came across the function like this then you have to put the negative sign in the derivative and you have to take the derivative of the given function in the numerator and you have to take the square of the function in the denominator let's see what kind of function it will be let's have an example here you have d by dx of 1 divided by x this is the reciprocal of x so its derivative will be what is minus you have to put the minus then f dash then this is the function and you have to find its derivative that is f dash is 1 so minus 1 divided by and what is x uh, what is f square f square is the square of the given function function is x so i'll take its square as x square so the derivative came out minus 1 divided by x square so this is how you have to use these five rules when you came across the functions like that like we have mentioned in the example then you have to use just the formulas in order to solve such functions and then after solving you just need to apply the, the power rule to solve them but in the next lectures we will see with the examples that how you can solve the different types of functions by using the chain rule or product rule or the sum or difference of function or quotient rule or reciprocal rule so we'll see it in detail in the next few lectures so stay tuned thank you thank you for watching if you like this video please don't forget to subscribe our channel math.com for more updates thank you